Back in 2015, a certain Android app started causing a fuss on Knee Channel and other social media. It came to people's attention thanks to a certain website that claimed to have downloaded the game, noted some odd occurrences, and then, a few days later, stopped posting entirely. And this website wasn't the only place. An unrelated Twitter account also mentioned downloading the app, and then, a few days later, also stopped posting. Was this phone game truly cursed? What was going on? The app in question is called Doi House. It can't be downloaded in the Play Store, but with a little searching you can find a copy of it on the internet. Whether you want to take the risk of downloading it, for various reasons, is up to you, but it is still out there. The game itself is, at first glance, rather innocuous. It features crudely drawn pictures and works like an escape room. Once you figure out how to open the door in the room, you proceed to the next and try to figure out how to escape that one. The game itself wasn't what caught people's attention, though. It never once claims to be cursed, although it is a little weird. It was the strange happenings around those playing it, and then apparently disappearing shortly thereafter, that caught people's attention. The first place people noticed was a website called Wataru's Horror and Occult Diary. The website is no longer available, but you can still view it through the Wayback Machine. The first entry is dated February 3, 2015, and talks about the living doll, as seen on a television show with Inagawa Junji. The blogger digs into the mystery himself and talks about it a little like the numerous other urban legend websites on the internet. This continues over the next few months, covering several topics, until a post is made on August 3, 2015, called The Cursed App, Doi House. I was going to post an article about ghost photos, but I now have a pretty hot new topic to talk about, so I'll do that instead. I think that maybe no other sites have talked about this yet. I don't know if Knee Channel has yet though, huh. Alright, well let's get to it. This time, we're talking about Doi House, the app chock full of grudges. As for what type of app it is, if you play it, you'll be cursed. Wataru goes on to explain he was taking a break at work when a system engineer came over to him and asked him if he ran a horror blog. He replied that yes, he did, and the engineer, who he thereafter referred to as S-san, told him about A-san, someone who made Android apps for a living. A-san discovered a certain app through social media, and soon after playing it, fell ill. Ill enough to be hospitalised. S-san went to visit A-san in the hospital and learnt that the app was the reason he was there. He lost his appetite and wasn't eating, and he had also started to lose his mind. Turned out this app couldn't be downloaded in the Play Store, but only from the creator on Twitter, which had been uploaded directly to their server. Wataru got the Twitter's username from S-san and discovered that it was a real Twitter, but the link to the app was broken. This greatly relieved him, because despite running a horror blog, the idea of playing an actual cursed app still scared him. The Twitter, by the way, is real, and you can view it yourself at Doi App Story. It opened in June 2015, and even now still posts the same nonsensical tweet daily. It says, Dogo Ensuta, which doesn't mean anything at all, and nobody has yet been able to figure out what it could mean. Two days later, on August 5th, Wataru posted his second blog entry on the app. This time he was able to access a copy of it, and he put the game to the test himself. He posted a screenshot of his phone with the app installed as proof, and promised that in his next blog entry, he'd talk about the game after trying it out. True to his word, on August 6th, Wataru posted another blog entry about the game. This time he shared screenshots of it, and mentioned how one day after starting it, he got a strange notification on his phone. When he opened the app again, it had changed. The game itself also seemed different, and he felt like he was going mad as well. Not wanting to be another victim, he declared he would no longer be engaging with the app, but he still wanted to learn more about it. He ended up sharing a link to download it, 
and left his email address for people to let him know about their experiences after playing. And that was the last anyone ever heard of him. A knee channel thread went up on August 5th, the same day Wataru posted that he had downloaded the app, which linked directly to his website and mentioned how it was run by the poster's older brother. Several days passed without any comments, and a week later it petered out entirely. A few days later, a Twitter account opened that was, according to the biography, run by a third grade junior high girl in Kobe. The first tweet claimed that the girl had lost her phone and thus her Twitter password, so she was starting a brand new account. She posted about various topics, such as games, books, movies, food, etc. And then, on August 15th, tweeted the following. Ah, and I installed the cursed app Doi House that people keep talking about on Knee Channel. Apparently you get a notification after a day has passed, but I wonder if it'll really come. She linked to another Knee Channel thread talking about Wataru's website and the cursed app. This thread, unlike the first one claiming to be his younger brother, was full of people talking about the game. People shared screenshots of it, their theories and even hints on how to progress. The game seemed confusing and terrifying to many, and undoubtedly the lure of it apparently being cursed was too strong for many to resist it. The game gave out strange messages throughout the daily notifications that included things like, everyone should die. It took a while, but users eventually got through to the good ending, which ends with, I'll forgive you and thank you for understanding. Back on the junior high girl's Twitter account, she spent the next few days talking about the game, linking to Wataru's website and detailing her struggle to clear it. After her first message about the game, it was all she tweeted about. On August 18th, she tweeted a simple, Somebody help me, just after midnight. Later that morning, she complained that she couldn't beat the game and wondered why nobody would help her. After that, she disappeared, just like Wataru. Was the app truly cursed? Was it causing people to lose their minds, fall physically ill, and then disappear off the face of the internet? Of course not. Users who started looking into the mystery discovered that Wataru's blog domain was registered on July 30th, 2015. Yet, the first blog post claimed to be from back in February. Stories were added manually, so the dates were added manually too. The only posts that were actually posted after the domain was registered were all about the Doi House app. The Twitter user also opened her account on August 2015, not even two weeks after the domain was registered. She also returned from her sudden disappearance a year later and claimed that she was feeling better now, but also only continued posting about the app. She even tweeted at a large YouTuber to get him to look into it because it really is cursed. It's highly likely that the same person, the app creator, was running both the website and the Twitter in an attempt at viral promotion for the app. It's also likely they posted the initial Knee Channel thread as well, claiming that Wataru was their older brother. Needless to say, numerous people have played the game over the years and nobody has ever actually fallen ill or gone missing. The attempts at promoting it were certainly interesting and it's hard to say the creator failed. After all, we're talking about it here right now. But if we assume that it was all just viral promotion, then who was the person behind it all to begin with? As it turns out, the creator revealed himself just last year, and I've actually played one of his games on this channel before. He goes by the name Fuun, which means wind and clouds, and he's currently working on several games, one of which is Sachie, Death Road. I'll leave a link in the comments if you don't remember that video, but I played it a while back and it certainly looked interesting. So, in the end, yes, it was just a creator going the extra mile trying to promote his first game and phone app. He used the internet to his advantage, creating an occult blog that appeared to have a long history before finally touching upon Doi House and then disappearing. 
It's also likely he ran the Twitter account to leverage social media, and also fed information to Knee Channel here and there, in the hopes of stirring them into action. Which they eventually did. Is Doi House cursed? No. But it's an interesting lesson in promoting and creating a modern day legend on the internet. But what do you guys think about this one? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you again next time.